Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to talk about how to create a custom alert controller. Usually, in order to blend with the project's theme and or the app's theme and styles, we might have to design the alert in a specific way or in a specific color theme. There are a lot of libraries uh, which does this. Uh, I didn't want to have a dependency to any of those libraries. I thought of creating one my own. It's not that hard to create. Uh, I'm going to discuss how I created that and what are the components in that controller. Yeah. So let's look at the code. So the custom alert controller has three components. One is the alert view controller then an action then an action button what is an action so action is something which is similar to our ui alert action action is an object which takes a title a style which i call it as action style and an action handler which is a closure and i have an initializer through which you can initialize an action by default the action style is normal and you can set up the title style and the action handler now what is action style so ag action style is an enumeration uh, which has lots of different cases right now you have four normal destructive destructive dark and normal dark so i use these cases to define the title color background color and highlighted title color for the actions what does that mean like if you want to have have a button or an action uh, when it is normal the title should look white then you can define okay for normal dark the title should look white or maybe normal the title should look black so this way you can theme you can define your own styles for your action similar for background color like we can define what should be the background color of an action when uh, the style is normal destructive or whatever it may be and this way it is more extensible whenever whenever you have more themes let's say you can have a positive theme like for example the background should be green and the title color should be white so you just add one more case and define these values and highlighted title col color is just to have that press feeling so if you define a custom button custom button doesn't have the pressed effect so you have to define a highlighted uh, color for that so that's all with the action now there is something called action button the so action button is a subclass of ui button action button takes in an action which we have seen before so using that action we define the title of the button the uh, color the background color the title color and the highlighted title color so this is where the style that you define ends up for example if you have having a destructive style the button color would be red uh, the title color would be white so all these things you define in your action style and action style is taken up by the action button and it creates a button by its own and you have the action handler so whatever the handler is present in the action gets transferred to this action handler and when and we define a target uh, when they, when i use a tap on that button the action handler will be executed so that's that's pretty much it with the action button the action button takes in an action using the action it sets its title style and the handler now comes the custom alert view controller where the actual view or the pop-up view is being defined so it is a ua view controller it has quite a bunch of ua controls so one is the backdrop view backdrop view is nothing but the dimmer view that you see which shows like this is an alert then you have a title label and a message label nothing but they are to label with different font sizes so one is to define the title one is for the message 
then these two title and subtitle label are being embedded in a stack view why i used a stack view here because you can have a pop-up with just title without a message if we use a stack view just hiding and any uh, showing the component will readjust the stack views height so that we don't need to do anything specific you don't need to specifically add a constant height value and all it adjusts by its own using the intrinsic content size and all that is what the use of title stack view then you have the action stack view action stack view is a stack view where you put all the action buttons together here also the concept is the same I use a stack view so that the more buttons you add, the view grows and remove the view shrinks. So it's a bit extensible. Then you have the container view. Container view is the actual pop-up view which holds all the uh, stack views uh, which contains the title, subtitle and the buttons. Then in the view did load, I just set the affine transform of the container view to a lower value the scale value and when the view loads after uh, two seconds after a delay of few 0.2 seconds i am just animating back to the original state so that you get the feeling of the pop pop up and i have a custom initializer so you can see here it takes a optional title message then actions then the axis whether the buttons needs to be aligned horizontally or vertically then the style so here also this alert also has a style which defines the background of the alert and the text color it it has nothing to do with the action buttons i just made it purposefully independent so that we can we can even use the actions and action button even in other cases also yeah so using this initializer you can define all the needs for the custom alert then this is where i animate uh, the alert i just lose a few basic animation with the backdrop and then set the transform of the container view to the identity so that it comes back in the full state and setup ui so this is where i use programmatical approach to create the ui uh, so that the component becomes highly reusable uh, plug and play so you can just drag and drop these three functions into any other project and just start using just like that without any dependency to interface builder or something like that <coughs> yeah so here i add the backdrop view to the view then uh, container view to the view and the title stack view and action stack view are sub views of the container view so i add those to that and i set the width of the container view uh, 80 percentage of the width of the screen so so that so as to make sure that when the text grows the width doesn't grow out of control and for ipad it's 40 percentage so that the pop-up is not too long i set the I place the container in the center, center X and center Y and leave the height and width uh, to extend. Uh, height is now uh, extensible infinitely. Uh, so you can, I haven't put any constraint for that. But width, I have put a constraint as the width multiplier. So it doesn't go beyond a limit. Yeah, and you have the title stack view aligned in the container view then backdrop view uh, follows the whole whole size of the ui view or uh, the whole view controllers view then action stack view again inside the container view just below the title stack view and here we loop through the actions and create action buttons and add the action buttons to the actions stack view and i set the height of the action button here as 45 uh, you cannot when I set the uh, height in the action button class it doesn't work so I have to set it here then I set up the title labels so here you set the actual values which we received from the initializer to the text and I just do a check like if the value is not there then hide the respective labels 
then add the title and message label to the stack view then i have few uh, factory functions which uh, which i use to create a stack view label and a normal view and the basic idea is to make sure that i have this translate auto resizing mask into constraint always present on on all the ui components which i create programmatically else the ui will break so that's also you have custom alert view controller which is the view controller to show up the pop-up which has uh, its own style you can extend the style for background and text even more if you want font size or something like that then you have the action which is kind of an equivalent to ui alert action which takes an action style then title and an action handler then the action buttons those are the uh, um, the actual buttons which takes in the action which uh, which uses the action style to create its style now let's go to the view controller so in the storyboard i just placed four buttons to show different mode so let's quickly see how we can show an alert so similar to how we define a ua alert or ua alert action so we create actions that we wanted so here i have a cancel action with a title and the style normal then an action handler which is the which is whatever you want to execute when the user taps on that uh, and i just put a print statement here then the delete action okay delete action is destructive so just put that then i have a convenience function to create the view controller so custom alert view controller which takes in a title optional title message then the action then the axis how to lay out the buttons and another parameter called style so style by default is set to normal and if you want to have have a st style as dark you can just pass dark style like this and if you want to have a axis vertical you can do vertical axis like this i just created convenience functions to just showcase those once you once the view controller is created make sure you use the transition style as cross dissolve so that we don't see any slide up animation and all yeah that's all so you define the actions you create the view controller then you just present and if you are using a uh, tab bar or something like that you can probably present this on the key window or key scene uh, so that it comes always on the top okay let's have a quick demo okay this is the dark alert so when i press delete you can see delete pressed let's see the light we can see the style changes cancel pressed vertical alert alert now we can see the buttons are uh, arranged vertically more alert like adding multiple buttons so you can see now you have three buttons so you can add as many buttons you want and which satisfies your ui uh, although it's not scrollable so make sure like do it as how it satisfies your ui requirements yeah and i have added small support to ipad so let's try it in ipad so it's bit so i just added the width constraint to be 40 percentage so it comes like this even even if you change the orientation it works yeah that's all so as you can see it's not too hard to implement these kind of controls i will uh, post the link to the code in the comments uh, on on the description please go ahead and try it out yeah thank you bye bye